In my previous video, I showed you how to convert Starfield saves from Xbox to Steam. There wasn't a way of converting from Steam to Xbox until now, as in a few hours ago. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to convert Starfield saves from the Steam version to the Xbox Game Pass version very quickly. But first, why can't we just copy these save files? Well, if I open up my documents, followed by my games, then Starfield, in the saves folder, you'll find all of my Steam save games for Starfield. How does the Xbox Game Pass version save them? Well, holding start and pressing R, win key R, and inside of here, typing percentage, local app data, percentage, hitting enter, clicking anywhere and typing P to jump to packages, inside of here, followed by Bethesda Softworks Project Gold, we have the game's save files somewhat. We need to go into the system app data folder, WGS, and this long file name here. Inside of this, we have all of our different save games, and inside of each save game, multiple files. These two are obviously not the same. How do we convert Steam save games to the Xbox Game Pass version? Well, it's very simple. In the description down below, you'll find the Starfield XGP import program on GitHub. It is still very much a work in progress, being released just five hours ago at the time of recording this. In order to download it, click this link on the very far right under releases. Then on this page here, we have an EXE version of this, but for me, this doesn't work. Instead, I'll download the source code zip, save it and open it. Now we have this folder here and inside of it, these files. In order to actually run Python files, we'll need Python installed. In the description down below, you'll find a download link for Python. Open the download section, followed by download Python, and open the file when it's done downloading. What we want to do is make sure when we're installing Python that at the very bottom, you see something add to path is ticked. It's very important for this to work. Once the installation is done, we can navigate back to our zip file and extract the entire thing onto somewhere like our desktop. We'll then open it up and we'll have all of these files here. What we need to do is click at the very top here and type in CMD, hit enter. Then inside of our command prompt, type in Python space, followed by the name of the file so in this case, main.py space once more. And now we need the full path to the save game we want to convert. So inside of him saves, I'll be converting maybe save one. What we need to do is drag the file into command prompt as such, and it should paste the entire file path inside of quotation marks. So C uses my username documents, my game Starfield saves, followed by the actual SFS save file. We'll hit enter and it'll start the conversion. Now it'll tell us exactly where it's saving to. So this tool is experimental, always back up your saves. It's found the Xbox Game Pass install folder here, and it's gone ahead and passed the save file and saved it into nine different chunks, which is what the Xbox Game Pass version can understand. It wrote it out to this folder here, 93 something. And here we have this new folder created right now. We have these files inside and it's successfully been converted. Press any key to close this and now we're done. If you'd like to convert more, simply run python space main.py space followed by the file path of the save game we want to convert. Obviously, if you have too many save games in this folder here, you may need to clear out some of them. But anyways, now we've converted the save game, let's actually see it in action. I'll open the Xbox Game Pass app and fire up Starfield here. We'll go to load and inside of here, you can see all of our different save files. Which one did I import? Well, I installed the game here and this was my first save. This one here is from another day completely. I'll click in it to open it up, confirm. You may get an error like this if there's a difference between DLC and stuff like that. Anyways, click continue. And now we're loaded back into the game. I can't exactly show you just yet. That save game was a bit too early. Let's take a later one. and fire up the game, then load, followed by our save file, which in this case is not showing because we have too many save files. If you have too many save games, which is more than six, I think it is, you may need to return here and delete some of your saves first in order to make space. I'm not too sure how big the limit is, but if you find that your save doesn't show up, delete a few saves and quit the game first, then we'll convert it once more. And if you see an error like this with an unsupported container format, we simply need to pick a different one. So maybe not save four, let's go for save, I don't know, save three. So we'll replace the file name. Obviously this will get better as time 
time goes on, there we go, this one converted properly, and it should be here, fire up the game, load, and now you can see our different save files here. So this one is the one that I just added, it's a whole day after the previous one, we'll load into this as such, yes, and this time we've actually made some kind of progress from the intro scene. If I hit tab to open up my character screen, you can see Le Shoot. This was my Steam save game name, and here's my Steam save game. If I opened up my Xbox Game Pass version of the save, you'd see that my name was something else, not this. Anyways, we've now successfully converted a save, so we've now brought everything across from our previous copy in Steam or wherever else to here, and we're able to play it once more. So, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.